Now we are going to take a look at few strumming patterns that you can use along with the chord progressions that you have learned so far. So far we've been doing all downstrokes, so the number was 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we are going to take upstrokes. I'll tell you what upstrokes are. So if the metronome is on, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you utilize the gap between the beats, those are upbeats basically and anyway your hand is coming up between two downbeats one two three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so these are the upstrokes we call it ands so these are in between the beats okay so one and two and three and four and and now you've got more options to create your own strumming pattern now you can see that we've got already one and two and three and four and so while taking up strokes you know what you do is actually you do the reverse of the downstroke exactly initially what happens you know the up strokes you know are not that clear because you're not used to it so down up down up Keep your wrist steady. Okay, I'm not doing anything else. It's just the opposite of the downstroke. I'm just retracing back the path. I'll give you one more angle on this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So these are the available beats right now. Let's apply this strumming pattern with the first chord progression we played. One and two and three and four and 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 C. Let's take something interesting, you know, you won't have to use all the downstrokes and all the upstrokes. What you can do, you can form your own patterns. I'll be showing you at least five to six usable strumming patterns that you can use right now using this concept. So let's take a strumming pattern one, two, three and four. So whenever you are looking at a strumming pattern, you should be able to say the strumming pattern in rhythm it means i don't read it as whatever is written here is one two three and four no this is not rhythmic if you are reading it it should be in the rhythm one two three and four one two three and four i don't care about the tempo you can read it very slow as well one two three and four or whatever one two three and four one two three and four as long as you are in rhythm, it's okay. So now let's take a look at one, two, three, and four. You already know, obviously. It's down, 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 up, down. One, two, three, and four. 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 One. So this is how it is and it's recommended that you should practice the strumming patterns you know whatever I'll be teaching you in the next 10 minutes with all the chord progressions that we have learned and we'll take the next one as 1 2 and 3 4 okay and we are going to use E A and B for this E A B A all right so 1 2 and 3 4 1 2 and 3 
four. I'm keeping the first string open. Now we can take another strumming pattern one and two three four so one and two three four one and two three four okay I'll be moving fast you pause the video whenever you feel that you should stop and practice and the next one one two three four and so this one is interesting because your time to switch the chord is half right now after four and you're supposed to switch so let's take the same progression E A B A. So one, two, three, four, and 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 all right. And now you can add multiple ands, you know, like one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, or one, two and three, four. And this is very handy. You might hear this strumming pattern being used in many songs. It's one, two and three, four and one. symmetrical you can see and the last one in this series we are going to learn is one two three and four and one two three and four 